Today we have another factorial question and these are proving to be very popular this time of year and what we need to do in this question is show that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Now it looks fairly complex but let me break it down step by step and hopefully you'll be able to follow along. Now my thought process is when I see something like this is well I see two fractions on that left hand side. Now you can see I've written taking the left hand side because that's where we need to start. We need to start with that left hand side. Now if I'm adding fractions and I'm just thinking about very simple fractions here, I need to have a common denominator. And it's exactly the same process here. I need to find a common denominator. And the way I'm going to approach it is I'm going to break down some of these terms a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to say, I'm going to look at this here. I've got this n minus r factorial and I also have this n minus r plus one factorial so that's one more than that so i know i can break those down so what i'll have is the n factorial and that's all over n minus r so i'm not doing anything with this just n minus r factorial and the r factorial they stay the same i've got the n factorial here in the numerator now it's the denominator where i'm going to do things that n minus r plus one I can break that down into n minus r plus 1 and then one less than that well that would just be n minus r and obviously that's factorial and then we write the rest of that term which is the r minus 1 factorial similar thing again with this r term here we've got this r factorial and the r minus 1 factorial so that tells me that on the left hand side i'm going to, have to break that one down a little bit so I've got n factorial, that's all over the n minus r factorial. Now for this term, that's going to be r, and then 1 less than r is r minus 1 factorial. On the right hand side, that doesn't change. Let me go ahead and write that out. Okay, so the next step is just to add these two fractions. Now, the easiest way to do this is to highlight what is common in both denominators. So I've got the n minus r factorial and the n minus r factorial. I have the r minus 1 factorial and the r minus 1 factorial. Then all I need to do is to take the left-hand numerator and multiply it by whatever's left or not highlighted in the denominator of the right hand side, which is the n minus r plus 1. And doing a similar thing for the right hand side numerator here. So I've got the n factorial. I just need to multiply that by whatever is left in the denominator of the left hand side, which is just r. Now all of that is over this common denominator. So common, what is common? Well, what is common is the n minus r factorial and then i've got the r minus 1 factorial and what is left well i've got the r left and i've got the n minus r plus 1. now looking at this numerator i can see i've got a common factor here of n factorial so let me factorize that out we've got the n factorial in brackets, we'll have the n minus r plus 1 plus that r. Now, in the denominator, nothing changes here. So let me go ahead and write that out very quickly. OK, so let's start to simplify things in this numerator. Well, I've got this minus r plus r here. So they're just going to cancel. And what I'll be left with in the numerator is n factorial multiplied by n plus 1. In the denominator, let's see what I can simplify here. Well, if I look here, I've got the n minus r plus 1 and the n minus r factorial. So that will give me n minus r plus 1 factorial. Obviously, this term here is just one more than that term. And then looking here as well, I've got the r and the r minus 1, well, that is just r factorial. And then just finishing off in the numerator, the n plus 1 and the n factorial, well, I can rewrite that as n plus 1 factorial. 
and that's all over n minus r plus 1 factorial multiplied by r factorial. And that is what we were required to find. That is the right-hand side. So let's just go back up. And there we have it over here. We've actually shown that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.